Hey, it's Rich Birdsall and it's Restaurant Week. This is Casey. Say hi. Hi. We're here at Strange Brew. We're going to go check it out. And the first thing you're going to notice is it looks great in here. And looks are exactly the same as the food and the coffee. Binghamton Restaurant Week goes until the end of this month, the 30th. And Strange Brew, right now, you can get yourself a really great lunch for $12. Look at this. You choose one out of any of the three categories. They're all pressed sandwiches over here on the left. Tuna, pulled chicken, California club. Salads, quinoa, Asian chicken salad, or the chef special salad. The grilled mac and cheese, we got a four cheese, a buffalo chicken, mushroom, and a brisket. And the desserts, she brought us out a bunch of them. So you'll have to just try it out and see whatever looks good. Casey got the grilled mac and cheese with the mushrooms. She said that it was very, very tasty and it came with some tasty coleslaw as well. This is the quinoa salad. And this was ridiculously tasty. Look at this. How do you say no to this? Here's the plethora of desserts I told you about. That's the chocolate chip cookie. The other thing is the brownie, which both of those were really, really tasty. And I don't really know about the almond croissant. They say the best compliments to the chef is an empty plate. Now, I did do Strange Brew at Restaurant Week last year as well. And I'd like you to check out this interview with myself and the Strange Brew staff. So here we are, it's restaurant week, and we are at Strange Brew. Now, how long have you guys been here? Uh, well, we have uh, been here, I'd say, about two months. Yeah? Uh, yeah, we, we kind of set up shop uh, sometime in the end of January and just started remodeling and working on this place and uh, getting it going. Uh, officially, we've uh, had our soft opening last week and now we're just kind of easing into it, getting a feel for the community. Yeah, I mean, it looks great in here. Uh, great improvement on your side. And um, I noticed you have real coffee beans on the wall over there. Yeah. So yeah. are those imported from someplace? Uh, you... Those are actually straight from our roaster. So we use a local roaster and uh, we wanted to do something with the wall that would kind of show people from the outside that, you know, we're serious about our coffee. What better way than a giant wall of coffee beans? <laughs> Without a doubt. How yeah. far does that go back? So we might have to. Oh my goodness. Uh, that actually goes into the next building. Right. They back. <laughs> yeah. They literally just <laughs> open on their side and get fresh coffee coming out. Yeah. That's awesome. Don't believe absolutely any of that. So. Um, the food here was delicious, and I don't know if you know this or not, even though when you walk in, it looks, acts, smells like a coffee shop, but you guys have a full kitchen in yeah. the back too, which you saw all the food that we got from here, you don't get sandwiches and macaroni and cheese from a coffee shop. So um, what made you want to put the the full kitchen in the back of just your, your what could have been your run-of-the-mill coffee shop? Um, I don't know, I guess for me, I wanted to, I want it to be in a place where I could always get the types of things that I crave. Right. And uh, I mean, macaroni and cheese is, is something that if you do it right, it, it'll it'll be a full course meal for you. And, and we take pride in that. We put you know different things like bacon and brisket. We cook the brisket here, and uh, we have different cheeses that we like to blend the mac and cheese with in order to get uh, a main course dish out of something that's typically served as like a side item or yeah. an appetizer. Yeah, without a doubt. And all of that was real delicious. And another thing too. The desserts for Pete's sake. Like, it's all her. This looked like something that you would get from one of those fancy New York shops that your buddy may be working in. It's all homemade. Yeah, all and then we learned that love. this young lady did it right here. Um, they were perfect. Like, they looked perfect. That was, and they tasted great too. So, I mean, you can have something that looks perfect, but it tastes like cardboard. So, but you had both of that together. And you do all of that here. We do all of that here, yeah. And you know, we try to. We try to do a little bit of everything. So something with nuts, a little something with you know, fruits, and then you have the chocolate, you know, just to have like a nice overall blend of everything. Um, coming soon, we're gonna be expanding our line of French macarons. So mm -hmm. for now, you know, we're trying to get a feel for what flavors people like and stuff. But that's, that's our kind of next big dessert. I gotta endeavor. be honest, all the flavors, you'll end up liking. <laughs> oh yeah, Oreo's my favorite. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. So why don't you tell the good folk here where you're at in case they don't know where Strange Brew is. Cool. So we're located right uh, on Washington Street. Our address is 137 Washington and we're between Holly and Port. We're smack in the middle of the block uh, and uh, you won't miss us. If you look past, you'll see the big uh, Coney Island style lights right in the window. And uh, we have a nice little artisanal wooden sign that was made for us with our logo on it. So you can't miss us. We're right in the middle there. 
So there you have it. That's the story of Strange Brew. I'm telling you, everything here is tasty as you could possibly imagine. So please, by all means, before the 30th, get over there and check this place out. It's Binghamton Restaurant Week. And here's some of the other great places you could check out from now until the end of the month as well. With proceeds going to benefit the Children's Home and the Binghamton Boys and Girls Club. So it's for a great cause.